Welcome to Freshly Recapped, your place for reviews and commentary on Hindi movies in English. Enjoy the video, watch out for the spoilers ahead. Did you know Danny Boyle watched Satya in his search for Slumdog Millionaire to understand the underworld of Mumbai? In the middle of streets, we see a man, Satya, arriving in the city of Mumbai. Soon, he starts working in a bar. One day while working there, he sees Jaga. He is on his routine rounds to collect his weekly commission or hafta from the bar owner. The bar owner asks Satya to make a drink for Jaga. When the bar owner tells Jaga the business is not going well, Jaga informs him Guru Bai, his boss, will not be happy to hear that he has nothing for him. The bar owner, afraid for his life, begs him not to involve Guru Bai, he gives him the money. When Satya serves Jaga his drink, he throws it on Satya's face, telling him not to make the drinks if he does not know how to do it. Satya looks him straight in the eye, Jaga gets angry at him for daring him. In another incident, a bunch of street thugs stop Satya and ask him money for a function in the society. When he comes to know they work for Jaga too, he fights back, and cuts one of them in the ensuing fight. Later, Jaga, learning what Satya has done to one of his boys, sends some goons to bring Satya to him and then they beat him up black and blue. Sometime later, another two gangsters, Vital and Bapu, are on their bike. They are tailing a movie director in his car. After his car stops at a red light, one of them shoots the director in full view of the public and runs away. While running away, their bike drops. When Vital is injured and is unable to run, Bapu leaves him there and escapes. Bapu later calls Biku, his boss, and informs him he has shot down the director but Vital is with the police. Biku asks him to meet him later at Kalu's place. We see Vital is in the police custody. When they torture him, he reveals he works for Biku. Not much later, police barges inside Biku's home when he is with his family and arrests him on the spot. He is unable to run away this time. We see Jaga is drinking with an off-duty police officer. When he asks him if the news is true that Bao will soon be out, the policeman tells him he has also heard the news. He then asks him why is he afraid. We see Satya is there too, now making drinks for Jaga. When Jaga insults him, telling him the consequences of messing with him, Satya launches on him. Soon thereafter the police officer takes Satya to the police station and asks the constables to charge him with running a prostitution racket and throw him in the locker. In the jail, he meets Biku by chance. Impressed with his fighting spirits and skills, Biku befriends him. They both begin to grow closer. In one of the incident while having their food, Biku asks him when he attacked him the other day, was he not afraid of dying? Satya tells him he is not afraid of dying. When Biku comes to know he has been put in jail by Jaga, he asks him why is he in jail as there is a small fine for running a prostitution racket Satya tells him he did not have any money to pay the fine. In yet another scene, when Biku asks him about his parents, Satya tells him he is not sure, that they may be dead for all he knows. Biku meets his lawyer Muli. When he asks him when will he be out of the jail, Muli tells him at least two weeks, as the media is now all over the story. Then, Biku tells him about meeting Satya. Later, Biku informs Satya he has spoken to his lawyer, and he will arrange for him at outside after he gets out tomorrow. Muli takes Satya to Kalu Mama's place. We find Kalu in the middle of his extortion of a builder, Malhotra. He warns him to pay on time and that he won't be calling him next time. He then asks one of his boys, Chander, to show Satya his new flat. Chander shows him his next flat and tells him, he works for Biku now. There, he meets his neighbor, Vidya, a struggling playback singer. This is a turning point in Satya's life as we will see Vidya will play an important role in his life later on. Some time later, when Vital tells the court he does not know Biku and that he got the contract to drop the director from Dubai, turning hostile. For lack of any evidence, court has no choice but to release Biku. First thing, after he is back on the streets, Biku hands Satya a gun and asks him to keep it with him. He will need it now. When Satya tells him he does not know how to use, Biku tells him nothing is easy in life, and asks him to just point and shoot. Soon, they arrive at the bar. Biku tells him, he is inside information that Jaga is inside. If he wants to finish Jaga, now is a good time to do it. Satya walks inside and shoots Jaga to his head and walks out. Outside Biku waits for him and welcomes him to his new life as a gangster. Biku takes his gang to collect from Malhotra, whom he had seen earlier with Kalu in his office. When he reaches the builder's office, he asks him for the money he owes to him. Malhotra tells him it's in his car, he will go and get it for him. Soon, they are showered with bullets from the building in front. They find each of the shooters, one by one, and kill them all. When Biku finds the last of the shooters he takes him as a prisoner. He wants to find out who sent for him. When Officer Kandilkar is asked by the police commissioner why the criminals are running scot-free on the streets of Mumbai and what is he planning to do, Kandilkar suggests encountering them as they are always bailed out by their lawyers. 
but the commissioner does not approve of such methods. Back in their hideout, when Biku finds out it's Guru Bai who had sent the shooters for them, this affirms Biku's suspicions. He had always suspected it was Guru Bai. Yeda tells him Guru is in Dubai at the moment, so they decide to wait some time before killing him. Later, in an intimate moment scene between Biku and Sadhya, Biku comes to know Sadhya is falling for Vidya, his neighbor. He is happy he is finding love. During one of her casting calls, when Vidya asks a music director an opportunity to show her talent, the music director asks for her favors in return. Later, when Vidya shares her experience with Satya, Satya has calls made to the music director. Soon thereafter, the music director visits Vidya's home and offers her an opportunity to sing in his next production. We see Satya and Bhikkhu along with his wife and Vidya share a few laughs together celebrating her lucky break. When Bhikkhu has to cancel his hit on Guru, back in Mumbai, at the last moment, because of Bao, he is furious. He further learns Bao now back from the jail wants to meet him. Bhikkhu goes to meet Bao, now out of jail. He takes Satya along too. Bao tells them they have been out of control while he was away, and they need to calm down till after the elections now. He does not want any gang wars between Dubai gang and Mumbai gang. When he asks Guru what does he want, Guru asks him Satya, who killed one of his boys, Jaga. Bao offers him Satya in return for peace. Later, Bhikkhu is struggling to understand Bao's play and undermining him in front of the gang and not handling Guru Narayan. Satya tells Bhikkhu Bao is only after his own interests and will show his true cards after the elections are over, and he should do what is in his nest interests. Later, Bhikkhu and Satya go after Guru and shoot him dead, against the wishes of Bao. When Muli confronts Bhikkhu for what he did and reminding him he has gone against the wishes of Bao, Bhikkhu tells him he could not trust Guru to keep his promise to Bao for his safety. He further reminds him there was only way to end this, either Guru died or he would have. Muli warns Bhikkhu that he has not understood underworld business, that if the one dies, then everyone dies. Did you know Manoj by P.E. was to play the role of Satya? But when the roles were developed director Ram Gopal Varma felt the role of Bhikkhu needed a strong character with good command over Hindi, so he offered the role to him. While dining out, Vidya asks Satya to tell her more about him. Satya tells her his real name is Radha. This comes as a surprise to her, that he kept his real name away from him. But Vidya tells him she does not care. She was only making small conversation. Then, they both disappear to Kandala for a few days. When Satya comes back, he comes to know Bhikkhu has been looking for him everywhere. Afraid for his life, Bhikkhu tells him he should be careful as Bao is looking for him now, after what they did to Guru. In a light moment, when Satya tells Bhikkhu he is looking for a gift for Vidya and he needs his help, Bhikkhu takes him to the jewelers. There, they pick a ring for her. While paying for it, Bhikkhu comes to know there is a new police commissioner in town. During the press conference, the new commission, Amod Shukla, tells everyone that Commissioner Bala has been transferred to a police training school and it was the decision of the government. Outside the hall, he meets Officer Kandilkar, who he knows very well from his earlier posting. While driving back to the office, Shukla learns from Kandilkar that there is soon going to be a gang war between Bao and Bhikkhu. Kandilkar unthreads the tangled spool for Shukla. He informs him, earlier these two gangs were part of one single gang. But when Bao joined politics, it split into two gangs, one led by Bhikkhu, and the other by Guru Narayan. At home, when Shukla asks him about Satya, he informs him he is a new member in the gang and has managed to rise quickly in their ranks. Shukla concludes there is nothing to do here, and tells him to sit and watch as these two gangs destroy each other. Later, we see Satya put the ring on Vidya as they come even more closer. Satya, back with Bhikkhu, comes to know through Muli that Bao wants to meet them. Satya passes back the message asking Bao to come to their place if he wants to meet. Later, all anxious, not knowing how Bao will react their demand, everyone waits for Bao to show up. Bao surprises everyone and apologizes to everyone for not being able to see through Guru for who he was. He admits he was wrong about Guru and they did the right thing by killing him. But he tells them now there is a new commissioner in town and he will come after all of them. So, they should stop going after one another and call a truce. Then, Bao gets emotional and makes peace with them. Kandilkar goes and informs Shukla about the truce. He further informs him, now Bhikkhu is helping Bao in the elections and the corporators have begun to receive calls from the underworld to withdraw their nominations. Kandilkar tells him they are helpless as no one has formally lodged a complaint with the police. In his next meeting with the state minister for law and order, when the matter of threats to corporators to withdraw nominations by his secretary, is brought up, Shukla tells them he is aware of the issue. But they can't take any actions, as there is no written complaint. Shukla reminds the minister arresting them without evidence is futile as they will be back on the streets again. The minister tells him he understands his position, but there is a limit to how much can be tolerated with the open warfare on innocent people on the streets. He asks him to do something, and offers him a free hand in the matter as long as he cleans the city. 
Shukla soon gets to work and manages to be so effective that he gets his name in the newspaper as a violator of human rights. In one of these raids, police also shoot down Chander. When Bhikkhu comes to know, he is furious. Satya tells Bhikkhu it's the new commissioner Shukla who is after them now. He breaks to them he is using their tactics against them now. Satya wants to send Shukla a message. When Kalu asks him what does he mean, he tells him they will kill Shukla. There is not other way, scaring police is the only way to loose them now. Shukla reminds him he is out of his mind. Satya reminds him it's either them or us now. Either the police will kill them all and they do nothing or they do the same. Not much later, while on his way to the office, they shoot down Shukla in his house as Kandilkar looks for the snipers in the surrounding buildings. After this, we come to know the police goes after the gangs with a vengeance. So much so, that the police begins to be hated among the public for their atrocities in the city. Using this opportunity, Bao manages to garner public sympathy and wins the election. During one of these counteractions, when Satya, at the movie with Vidya, is surrounded by the police in the cinema hall, thinking quickly on his feet, he somehow manages to start a stampede and gets away with Vidya. Later, he meets Bhikkhu and tells him he can't keep running away from the police forever, and plans to come clean with Vidya. He wants to tell her everything about his past. Bhikkhu, feeling sorry for him, asks him to tell her one last lie, that he has found a job in Dubai and he will move there with her and the mother, and that he will arrange everything for him there. They both seem happy before parting ways. Later on, reaching his office, he finds Bao there, all garlanded, and in good mood. He is there to celebrate his election victory with his old friends. He offers to make Bhikkhu a drink. When Bhikkhu begins to tell what just happened between him and Satya, Bao pulls out his gun and shoots him in the back, killing him on the spot. Bao tells everyone, he was waiting for the elections to get over to do this. Muli tells Kalu Kandilkar has been tipped about Satya and the murder of Shukla, and that police is on their way to arrest him. Back in his flat, Satya tells Vidya about his new job and that he plans to take her and her mother to Dubai along with him. When she runs to inform her mother about the news, there is a car outside his flat. Satya sees it and runs away. Finding Vidya, Kandilkar informs her Satya is a criminal on the run and they are looking for him for the murder of the police commissioner Amod Shukla. He further tells her he runs a prostitution racket and plans to take her to Dubai and sell her there. Vidya is shocked to hear all this. Later when Satya reaches to their hideout, he finds Kalu waiting for him along with Muli. He pulls a gun on him. Muli asks Kalu to shoot him. But Kalu shoots Muli instead. Kalu tells Satya there is an evening boat to Dubai he can take. There is no point hanging around in this city anymore. But Satya asks him for the location of Bao. When Kalu asks is why he wants that, Satya asks him for one chance. Kalu takes him to the procession by the bay. Bao is busy in the middle of his procession offering his gifts and prayers to Lord Ganesha. Satya silently walks towards him with a weapon in his hand. He reaches him and calls out his name. When Bao looks at him, Satya takes out his weapon and stabs him. He does not get Bao go from his embrace. When Bao's henchmen hear Bao choking, they try to separate Satya from him. But he does not let him away from his embrace. Then, one of Bao's bodyguards shoot him in the shoulders. Just then, Kalu steps in and shoots the henchman back. Panic follows with everyone running away from the procession and from Bao. We see Bao floating in the water. He is dead. Satya is injured badly. But Kalu helps him on his way. They board a car waiting for them and escape from the scene. In the car, Kalu tells Satya he is going to take him to the dock. He has a boat to catch. But Satya asks him to take her to Vidya in his flat. When Kalu refuses Satya pulls his gun. Kalu parks the car outside his flat, and tells him to hurry up he will be waiting for him outside. Inside, he reaches Vidya's flat and asks her to open the door. He just wants to see her face, one last time. But Vidya refuses to open the door. Soon, we see the police arrive outside and shoot Kalu dead when he tries to stop them. Arriving on the scene, Ken Dilkar finds Satya by Vidya's door. As Satya panics and breaks the door down, he shoots him in the back. Satya falls down on the floor, looking at Vidya's face one last time. Before he takes his last breath and dies on the floor, Vidya looks back at his dead body, crying. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Thanks for watching, enjoy your popcorns and watch out for the spoilers.